Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about some of the fundamental tools and techniques I use when tuning drums on the road for such clients as Stevie Wonder, Train, Rihanna, and blessedly so many more. Uh, I have a lovely GW Tom today we're going to work with, and so let's get started. Uh, the first most fundamental tool you have is your hands. We're going to talk about that in two ways. The first way, I like to listen to the drum heads individually. There's no problem with tuning it while it's hanging on the rack or sitting on the floor. You can check it out and really see what it sounds like and tune it to the music and what you like. But for me, I like to get fundamental balance and subsequently like to hear each head individually. Uh, we take our friend Mr. Moon Gel here, another one of the tools and techniques I use and place him right in the middle. Uh, keeps you from having to do this with your fingers so you can do this. Your finger tap is going to give you that fundamental tune where you can still hear the bass and the high harmonic nice and loud. And as you can tell, this one's just a little bit lower than the others. If you want to double check it, use what I like to call the finger snap. Learn this from drum tech Tony Adams. God bless that guy. Anyways, it's like snapping your fingers, except the drum head plays the role of the thumb and your finger simply snaps against it. Now you can hear that high fundamental harmonic singing just a little bit better so you can really hear just where it is in terms of tuning up or down. Uh, and a lot of people do ask me, you know, what are you listening for? Well, there it is. Mm -hmm. Fundamental tone. Ooh. High harmonic. Check it out. Listen. And by taking a key, it's really easy to just... Hear that harmonic come up into tune. Another one of the tools that I like to use uh, when I really want to hear what's going on is a T2 cartwheel mallet from Vic Firth. Uh, I would use a stick, but I like having a mallet, especially for like bottom heads when they're thin or bottom snare heads. And this gives me the stick side, the soft side, and I can still do a nice cymbal low in it. All right. Anyways. Now we can hear this isn't quite tuned down enough. Or should I say tuned up enough, so let's give her another tweak. Done, done, and done. And to check it, to make sure, I like to use my last and most fundamental key technique, especially when you're in the middle of a loud rock concert or a show you're on the stage going, oh my god, he blew the snare Got to replace it, the key tap. And that's why I like these Evans. Uh, heavyweight keys, uh, not only ergonomic and, and comfortable, and got a nice neural tip that you can stick in your drill. Man, they're loud. Uh, 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 uh. Key tap, baby. Wonderful thing. When I discovered this, I was like, hallelujah. So again, and one of the reasons I like the key tap, much like I like the finger snap, much like I like the cartwheel tap. As you can hear that harmonic sing, so it's like tuning a guitar string. You can hear the harmonic woo, 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 woo. settle in and really bring the head up into pitch to where you can tell you have a nice tuned, balanced head. So again, to top it off, we have our hands muting the bottom head. We have Mr. Moon Gel right here in the center muting it all so we don't have to hear the cross tones. We use our fingers in a tap. We use the fingers in a snap. We use the key taps. Double check that we need a little work on this slug. And those are the fundamental tools I use when out on the road.